Huh. Okay. So good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to have um, a talk, uh, summary of a paper by Andrea Ferry. So the paper is called TCNN. It's called Object Detection from Video. It was the winning entry from Imaginet Video last year in 2015. So Andrea, the floor is yours. Hi to everyone. Um, TCNN stays for uh, tubeless uh, convolutional neural network. And as we see next, they reach uh, the first uh, place for the given data set and the second one for external data set. And we see how they compose this. The summary is a little introduction, uh, the architecture, and the final experiment that they made on the data set. Introduction, uh, determination and video, um, and video determination challenges are detection uh, challenges are really strongly different because that is applied inside the video and has a, a large temporal fluctuation and uh, generate false positive, as we can see. During the uh, uh, determination uh, of the object inside the single frame, we have a, a great fluctuation because he doesn't know about the temporal uh, properties, okay, of uh, the nearest uh, frames. And as we can see, he can also find false positive due to the fact that he doesn't have uh, uh, contextual information in the algorithm. This is uh, the detection, not the video. So this is uh, TCNN, as I said, means uh, tubeless convolutional neural network, where tubeless are bounding boxes, sequences, okay, taken from different screenshots and frames of the video, and that have temporal and contextual information. So uh, the main in the architecture, I will show the architecture that is easier to explain after. Architecture is uh, TCNN is a composition of state of, of nowadays state of the art uh, still image of the detection object tracking algorithm and a lot of cool tricks that they use to put information inside the <coughs> still image object detection. This is the architecture. As we can see, we have uh, four main models. Uh, we have uh, the first step is the still image detection. After, from the still image detection, they put inside and uh, try to extract uh, the, uh, the contextual and the um, timing information. And after that, they combine all the results to, uh, to get uh, the, res uh, the best score. As we can go further, in the still image detection, they use a deep ID net uh, improvement of uh, RCNN. And also the craft uh, that is an extension of faster RCNN. Uh, they use both uh, and combine both the results uh, to achieve the best uh, MAP score. And both of them use the region, uh, region proposal pre-train model and training strategies. Okay, so inside the wall architecture, uh, the two neural networks are uh, pre-trained on image dataset. And after that, all the, um, the architecture is trained in once. Because this is uh, the main, uh, um, let's see, uh, um, I don't know how to explain. Uh, this is a really, really important to get uh, the exactly class and object inside the frames, uh, because this gives uh, all the other information on the other part. Here we have uh, multi-context suppression and multi-guided propagation, and we will see that they are uh, done one after the other. Here is uh, an example of the multi-context suppression. Uh, as we can see, uh, they try to um, downgrade uh, the values of uh, the uh, misdeterminated class and uh, put up uh, the ones that are right. In the <coughs> in deeping, they sort all detection score of all proposal in the video in a descending order from the higher to the lower. From this class, uh, they with the high uh, rankings uh, are uh, taken as the most confident one. Are um, 
suppressed and uh, how to say um, I don't know the English meaning they are, uh, they are pushed down so for sure the model will never take them as uh, the best one so here we have uh, that uh, after uh, many times uh, they know that the monkey and domestic cat are the ones that we we will see uh, further in the um, frames uh, and all the others are wrong and so in the other uh, examples after we have uh, the motion guided propagation these are all uh, um, are all uh, made to give uh, a temporal information uh, yes a temporal information inside the single frame uh, object detection and as we can see before the propagation and after the propagation the main aim is to propagate the detection from uh, uh, one frame to the near ones so we can also um, find uh, as in this example uh, the the airplanes that uh, wasn't found in the in the previous okay this share the blue one and the violet one and so he gets uh, the red one from uh, t plus one okay and so we can all share in the detail in each frame the object uh, uh, some objects are not the <coughs> detector uh, however in the nearest uh, frames could be detected so we propagate the addition uh, between the additions frame uh, the detection and um, and after we suppress all the um, how to say uh, redundant boxes with the non-maximum uh, suppression in this way we are sure that in each frame all the objects that we have to detect uh, we have detected them the third step is uh, the tablet rescoring where we have a uh, free step, free main step, that is the height confidence tracking, special max pooling, and temporal rescoring. Uh, For the first one, uh, we use uh, the obtained detection result from steam ima uh, still image detectors, choose uh, the highest one, and use them to track the object uh, from the start to the end of the videos. Our, yeah, the um, the highest one are called anchors. Yeah, I know. I don't know if the pronunciation is the best one. Uh, for track the object are do, are done bidirectionally, so from the start to the end and from the end to the start uh, to be sure to uh, didn't lose any object tracking and any object that is important inside the video. In tablets, with our, um, which are which uh, are a box sequence from the tracking algorithm from that uh, we have uh, to how to say uh, to be sure that uh, the tracking uh, the the tablets made by the tracking algorithm are the best one so they overlaps uh, and uh, search uh, the ones that uh, best overlaps between the still image detection and the tracking so to get the best uh, bounding box around the object and uh, only detection with the maximum detection score are left uh, in the spatial so they eliminate all the um, redundant uh, and not uh, well defined boxes uh, for of the tracker okay and keeps the one of the detection algorithm and also they use the common filter to smooth the bounding box uh, location one is the temporal rescoring so they classify the tablet uh, based on a statistic um, detection score they use a Bayesian classifier on the top K and after that they map uh, the detection score between uh, 0 0.5 and 1 and 0 and 0 0.5 for uh, from I guess the negative ones okay to summarize uh, okay we from here we get uh, all this all the frames uh, with the detected object here we propagate the detection uh, between uh, uh, the audio chance uh, frames and from here uh, no sorry here we 
effects. Okay, here we suppress uh, all the, um, uh, let's say, uh, false uh, object detection. And here we propagate the, the right detection uh, between the frames. With the same input, uh, here we uh, get, uh, we start tracking all the object uh, to get a uh, best uh, um, final result. Uh, so we can see the bounding boxes that are really fluent uh, between frames. Um, and we here track only the highest um, classes. After that, uh, we uh, better reshape all the boxes uh, around the object. And finally, we get uh, with the Bayesian uh, analysis uh, the right one. So not the redundant and not the not uh, really significant object. After that, uh, all these uh, proposals are combined and, uh, and return only the, the best one. And a lot of time, see how they model combination, but yes. Experiment. They made a really tricky work behind the data set for training. Uh, they start to learn uh, about uh, on the data set uh, with the ratio was, was uh, the best one between the uh, detecting uh, challenges and the vid, uh, vid one. Uh, after that, they also use the uh, data augmentation and um, yeah, they they spend really a lot of time only working on the data set to be sure to use uh, the best data set uh, to get the best knowledge uh, inside the machine. As the parameter, uh, with the motion-guided uh, propagation, they use seven frames. So each frame propagate their own um, um, object uh, detection boxes. Uh, uh, yeah, I think seven before and seven after, depending on the position of the frame, it's the starting on the last one. And uh, for uh, the multi-context suppression, they take only the 0.003% top classes of boxes to not have a redundancy. Results. Okay. Um, as I say, they get they win the provided challenges on bid, and they get second in the additional one. They also, uh, as we say, uh, these are all the step inside the model that they use, so we can see how uh, grows the um, uh, the accuracy of the model step by step. As we see in the still image using the craft and the deep ID, we have uh, uh, 67.7 .7 and 65.8. After the multi-context suppression and uh, motion-guided propagation and the rescoring, they get uh, 73 and 72, so it's uh, a really cool speed up. After the model combination, they get uh, a general uh, almost a 74 score. Uh, on the test set, test, test set, they have an average of uh, 70, um, 70, 67.8 uh, uh, score of MIP. With the additional one, that is the ones where they rank uh, second. Uh, I think that maybe they work uh, too much on the data set and get um, some uh, overfitting in classes. And this, I think, uh, led to uh, yeah, to not win the first uh, 77 and uh, 69 uh, for uh, average. Here are reported all the cl single classes for both. Okay, so we can also see how they work. Here are some results, and we can um, see how the bounding boxes are really. Um, don't know how to say, fix a really perfect the object, okay? So start uh, doesn't take, uh, uh, I, I don't know either, I don't know how to explain English, but he recognize every object with the same color and have always um, a really great fitting of the boxes around the object. This is uh, another one. Also here we can see that uh, they, he found all the monkeys here there aren't in the image, and after he start, he recognizes immediately that they are in the uh, all the other. This is the motor, not the rider. 
but yeah. This is uh, the link at the starting uh, page. There's also the link to the um, to the code. As they say, um, 2015 was the first year for uh, video detection for vid, and it's a really hot topic for uh, the for the area. And they start thinking uh, to <coughs> they decompose. The problem in sub problems, as we see. So they start uh, with the still image detection, and after report to the still image detection, all the other information that are useful to understand really what is happening uh, during the video. Uh, the as they say, maybe is not the best uh, structure and the best model, but uh, it was the first year. They rank really great, but they are sure that in the next year will be there will uh, different models that achieve uh, and solve the problems maybe with the uh, thoughts. That's all. Thank you very much, Andrea. Thank you.